Hello, good morning. This is uh, Siva Devaki from um, Math Mailer. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Today, I want to talk about um, creating a sign up form in Salesforce. It's a very common question I keep uh, getting. And um, it's very simple. Uh, and most of uh, Salesforce professionals, admins, and developers would know about it. And I'm sure Power Admins also would uh, know about it. Um, so I want to touch on like some simple concepts here. I'm not going to go deeper into it, uh, but it's very important to know that it actually exists. The sign up form exists because um, most of the customers coming to Mass Mailer, you know, maybe they are coming from say Mailchimp or any third party application. The very first question that they have is, "Hey, how do I get the leads into Mass Mailer?" So you say, "Hey, we are." Um, a native app to Salesforce, which means any leads that you're going to get should go to Salesforce because the data should reside in Salesforce. So any forms that you want to build, that should be integrated with Salesforce. That's a fundamental uh, theory. People get confused saying that, hey, maybe I want to put it in Mass Mailer. So Mass Mailer does not hold any data such as leads or contacts. Uh, Mass Mailer is just a a, uh, it's a tool or an app within Salesforce so that you can actually send emails to existing data or existing contacts or existing leads in Salesforce. So what it means, the theory is that you have to uh, basically feed the data from anywhere, any sign of form that you want to have it on a website or anywhere uh, back into Salesforce itself. So there are two ways to do it. Um, Again, I didn't want to touch on the complex one. I want to kind of explain the simple one, uh, which is a web to lead, which is a out of the box feature. Um, again, I'm just talking about web to lead only, just for sake of you know starting the conversation, starting this web series, where hey, the simplest way to capture uh, lead data into Salesforce is through web web to lead. That's out of the box functionality what Salesforce provides. Uh, can you actually get uh, any other object information into Salesforce, such as, you know, whatever, you, you are trying to give a quote to someone and you wanted more information to be uh, fed to that lead, such as, you know, what kind of, uh, uh, like, let's say it's a, a transport company and you want to get more information about what kind of a car they have and where, from where to where they want to ship the car, you know, so on and so forth. That's kind of custom and you can do that. And you can always ask them to upload some information, upload pictures, whatnot. You know, that, that gets a little bit more complex, right? So, um, you know, we're talking about very simple form where you want to capture the lead. But if you want to capture any other object information, it is possible to do it. But you have to either use, um, you know, Visual Force. I mean, not Visual Force. It's no longer supported, um, meaning nobody would want to develop anything in Visual Force. But you can use Lightning. Uh, pages and stuff like that, and uh, develop some custom code, and then you can get any information from a website back into Salesforce. It's possible to do it uh, with uh, uh, some custom uh, landing pages kind of a thing that you could create a custom form or a pop-up, whatever you want to build, it's possible to do it. Um, can you actually use third-party uh, form uh, sign of form software? Yeah, absolutely. There's so many uh, softwares available. Uh, that can also let you build forms, and then that can actually integrate with Salesforce as well. That's possible too. Does Mass Miller do it today? We do not have the landing pages feature or a form feature yet. That's coming in the upcoming releases. So um, you know, please wait on that. Uh, definitely, we are getting to a level where we will have the landing pages and the form builder uh, feature in Mass Miller. But right now, if you want to keep uh, uh, sign up form on a website and capture a lead, um, the simplest way without even making uh, a lot of effort is to just use the Salesforce Web to Lead uh, feature. Uh, the, so that's uh, exactly what I want to talk about. And I'll again keep it very simple. I don't go uh, deep into it. Uh, so, Web to Lead form, if you want to use that feature, you got to enable that feature, right? That's one thing. And then you got to create that form. Again, it's nothing complicated. It just like click, uh, you know, a few clicks here and there, and then your form would be ready. But you still need 
somebody like an HTML um, support guy who can actually put that HTML into your website. Um, and then, you know, that's pretty much it. And somebody has to test it and it will work fine. So basically, you will have to enable this feature. Very simple. You just go to Salesforce Setup, Marketing, and Web to Lead and enable it. And you can also set who the default lead owner is, and there's some recapture verification that can be done. You know, um, you can go through the material within Salesforce and dig in, dig into it deeper and try to understand any complex stuff. But let's keep it very simple for this webinar sake. And then you can um, once you enable that feature, you just have to create that form. Um, and you just have to select fields, what all form, what all fields that you want to display on that form and where do you want the user to go after filling that form and some recapture things, uh, you know, very simple, right? So that's all what you need to do and your web to lead form would be ready. That would be a sign up form. It can be embedded anyway. It could be a pop-up. It could be a landing page. I could be a part of a landing page, like a footer, whatever. You know, I'll show you an example on how we do it in Mass Miller. So that'll be very clear. Uh, so this is just a screenshot uh, just to show you that, you know, um, you know, very simple to enable, as you can see, and I'm also going to show it to you in Salesforce as well. Um, and how to create a form, again, very simple, nothing fancy, uh, very easy to use this, right? So that's that's basically it, what you need to understand about the sign-up form. Um, and if I have to show this to you in Salesforce, so you basically go to Salesforce setup always, right? So you go to Salesforce setup, your admin um, should be able to do this for you. Um, I recommend uh, working with your admin, um, our power user, um, and then you type in the web to lead and bring up an option, web to lead option. Uh, so again, uh, quite simple, you just have to enable this feature in your org and then create a form and then give that HTML to your designer um, and they'll basically plug that code into your website and that becomes a sign up form and you capture leads. Um, nothing complicated. So this one is already enabled. So if you want to enable, all you need to do is just click on that edit and it'll show you um, what you need to do. So enable this. If you wanted recapture, you can do that and you can select uh, who is the default uh, lead uh, owner. Um, and then you can do the, uh, I mean, response template, but if you're using mass mailer, you can actually create those uh, lead response emails in uh, mass mailer itself. Um, using flow, uh, that's ideal. So once you did this, um, then there is a button here that just says create um, web to lead form. So all you have to do is again, just go click on that and you just have to select what all fields you wanna display. So in this scenario, we have first name, last name, email company, city, province. If you don't want all of this, that's fine. And if you wanted to have maybe um, you know, comments or questions or anything else like such as description, maybe, right? You can add that and, um, and then where do you want the user to go? So you can have some thank you page on your website, have the web designer develop something like that. Um, and that's it. Um, you just have to, I mean, do you want the, these are all again, a little advanced. I'm not really getting there. Um, you can always dig through this and, click on this and see if you need it or not. If you just want to keep it very simple, uh, if you don't want to have the recapture there, that's fine, you can do that. Or if you wanted the recapture, you can do uh, enable that. And then all you need to do is click on this um, generate and that will give you um, the actual, okay, I'm going to turn this off and then I'm actually going to go generate because um, I want to keep it very simple. Uh, so you got this HTML, I'm going to uh, copy this um for better clarity and just uh try to put it here uh, yeah so if you look at this it's nothing really complicated um you know so this is a simple form um again uh, html developer would know as you can see, it's integrating with Salesforce. I just want to show it to you so that you understand that this whatever form code it is generating, it's got that integration with Salesforce and it's got some input fields and some labels and whatnot. Uh, we don't need to get into the details. 
this just to give you an overview of okay it does em, uh, embed those fields like the first name last name email whatever you want to kind of embed into the form uh, that'll give the query all you need to do is give this code to your um, html designer developer uh, and then they would basically uh, embed this into any form and that's it that's sign of form is ready and this is the redirect once they fill up the form this is where it's going to go the return url right so um nothing complicated uh so don't need to sweat it's quite easy uh so that's about the web to lead form um and again um there are complex ways and advanced ways of uh, creating uh, other types of forms that can integrate with the uh, Salesforce. Um, uh, my intent is to just touch that. Okay, there are ways to do it for other objects and you need more complex stuff. It's possible to do it, uh, but you would have to work with a developer or maybe a third party um, software that can integrate with Salesforce. Uh, but eventually, as I said, MassMiller will have the landing pages in the form builder uh, feature as well. But right now, if you just want to our simple sign up form for leads. This is the way to go. And um, just work with your admin and the uh, web developer, and you should be up and running. You know, it takes uh, uh, for any web developer, it takes less than an hour to just embed it and test it, make sure it's working. So, nothing fancy, nothing complicated. Okay. Any questions? Seems like uh, no questions there. Uh, so this is my contact info and the company contact information. Um, this is uh, a weekly webinar that I do every Thursday at 6 a.m. Uh, Hawaii time. Any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly or reach out, uh, reach out on our company information. And if you need to mass mailer, here is the link for you to get on a, a free trial and uh, uh, we can uh, certainly help you with the trial as well. And if you are new to our YouTube channel, I strongly request you uh, to go to our YouTube channel and find Mass Mailer um, and then subscribe to it so that you actually get to know the new videos that we have. Um, and you can learn a lot about Mass Mailer because uh, so many things that I talk about uh, in general, Mass Mailer and email marketing and stuff, um, sure, it would be very valuable. Once again, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Appreciate it. Uh, have a good day. Have a good evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.